YouTube. My name is Mesa Sean, and we are back here on Destiny 2. Well, first off, happy Thanksgiving if you are in the United States. And uh, we're going to go over the spider bounties for week four to get you some enhancement cores. If you are new to Destiny 2, enhancement cores are used for a number of things. One, to infuse gear to increase its power level. Two, to masterwork armor. Or three, to turn weapons into tier 10 masterworks. These bounties you buy from the spider over on the Tangled Shore, and you use ghost fragments to buy them. To get ghost fragments, just just go to the Tangled Shore, do public events, do patrols, open up chests, and you will get enough to buy all of these. The first bounty is located over on Nessus at the Glade of Echoes. You want to fly into the Exodus Black Landing Zone and make your way over there. For the new folks, I'm going to let the footage roll out on how to get to this lost sector. Once you make your way to the end of the Lost Sector, there will be a big servitor. Kill the servitor and this bounty is done. The next bounty is located over on the European Dead Zone. You want to fly into the Sunken Isles landing zone and then you're going to make your way over to a Lost Sector called Sky Dock 4. I'm going to let the footage roll out for the new folks on how to get there. Once you make your way to the end of the Lost Sector, you will have a big old Cabal boss to contend with. Kill him and all his friends, and you have this bounty done. The next bounty is located over on Io, and you want to fly into the Rupture, and the Lost Sector will be right across from the landing zone. And I forgot to mention at the beginning of the video, you could do these bounties on all three characters and give yourself 18 enhancement cores. And I also notice when I'm getting this done, I get those scrapper bounties to drop here and there. Those scrapper bounties are fairly easy, and when you complete them, them, you give yourself one enhancement core. Once you get to the end of the Lost Sector, kill the Taken Knight and you have this bounty done. Now we're going to do the high value target bounties. So the first one, you want to fly into Siren's Watch over on Titan. Then you want to just sit around and wait until on the left hand side of your screen, it says high value target is nearby. Usually the high value targets will spawn every 10 minutes I find. And in this particular area, it varies from Fallen to Hive. This week we have a Hive bounty. So as soon as you see it on the side of your screen, high value target is in the area. Area, start running around or start sparring around until you find the high value target. If it's a fallen one, just kill it and then you're going to have to wait another 10 minutes and hopefully that will be the hive target for you to kill. The next high value target that you want to kill is over on Io. This one you want to fly into the Lost Oasis and right by the landing zone and make your way to this cliff right here. I found that this particular cliff right here is a great vantage point to see where a high value target might spawn in. Now, there's going to be three different types, or at least I think there's only three. One Vex Hydra, one Vex Minotaur, but the one for this week is a Cabal Boss. As soon as you see on the left-hand side of your screen, high value target is nearby, get on your Sparrow and start looking for it. Now, I had someone in the comment, or a few people in the comment section say that they usually spawn right after a public event. I found that's not necessarily the case. Actually, I was mid-public event one time, and it said high value target is nearby, so don't rely on public events to give you a cue on when they spawn in. This all is a waiting game when it comes to the high value targets. 
The final bounty is located on the European dead zone and you want to fly into the sludge. Now what I found with the sludge is that there's a lot of stuff going on here and I encountered a few different high value targets. This one is a taken one. There's a fallen one and I think there might even be a, no actually there's no hive. It's either fallen or taken I think. This is a pretty big area and it's kind of hard to articulate but there's three lanes of traffic as I like to say. And what I found is that in the center lane of traffic where my character is right now that's where I found a couple of high value targets. So I killed a fallen one at one time and then it's a big old taken and I literally see him spawn right in in front of me and I kill him. So that is going to do it for this video guys. Hit that like button if you found this video helpful. Subscribe if you're not a subscriber. Leave me a hashtag made it to the end if you did make it to the end and I'll see you guys uh, for Zer tomorrow and then uh, next week we have the reveal of Black Armory. We will have a new Vidoc and I will do a full breakdown of it uh, immediately after. That's it guys. Drop like this video only if you see fit. Follow me on the Twitter at MesaShawn. Check out my stream. Usually no one's on YouTube and that's it. I am out of here like Vladimir and yeah you saw that taken uh, high value target spawned in right in front of me. Alright guys we'll see you.